This is our tankless water heater. And all we can really do is inspect it for installation. Uh, I don't see a care and use manual around. That's the thermostat right there. It's unplugged because we don't have gas service to the water heater and we don't want to operate it when it's not functional. Okay, this is supposed to be serviced once a year. All water heaters are, and I know we all neglect them, but tankless water heaters is more critical, much more critical that this screen gets flushed out and cleaned once a year or you'll take a 15-year water heater and turn it into a 5-year water heater. I get it, regular water heaters last about 10, you know, that you can neglect them, but this is this is a high efficiency unit. High efficiency unit. It looks like we got some plumbing for uh, our condensate drain line that we're not using. And this tape tells me that the gas line has not been dialed in. Now we don't have gas service, so they couldn't adjust the pressure to it. So after they get the gas onto the house and everything's hunky-dory, you're gonna want them to adjust the pressure to the, to the gas. It would work, if you just bolt it up, it's gonna work. But you want it to work at maximum efficiency, maximum life. If you want the water heater to work at maximum efficiency and maximum life, you'll adjust the gas valves and you'll clean the screen once a year. That's what you do, that's what we do. This is the temperature pressure relief valve. Actually, it's not temperature pressure, excuse me. It's the pressure relief valve, and it's not supposed to discharge closer to the ground than three inches. And also, this drain line is supposed to have, I'm sorry I'm out here, it's noisy in there. It's supposed to have an air gap on that drain line too, so we learned that the gas has not been adjusted. We learned that the drain line discharge is too close and we do not have an air gap for this, an air break for this drain line inside the garage. Now another thing you might have noticed about the water heater inside of the garage is it does not have a safety pan. And safety pans are not required, well unless the manufacturer specifies it, but they're not usually required on tankless water heaters. Safety pans are required on water heater tanks.